En la casa en la que está, la que se la caeron, casi no está. God damn it. Why the fuck do you show everywhere I go? I try to take a vacation down here. The new motherfuckers are down here too. Y la que se la caeron. Y la que está. Not you too. Everywhere I go, these fucking kids are with me. And you know the fucking horse, worst part of all of this? The worst part of tonight? They are not related to me! The bitch! The harmony date! The bitch Maria! Do you remember her? That fucking cut is related to the fucking crow at this fucking wedding of my cousins. And now these two little fucking bastards are related to me. Give me back my fucking microphone. God damn it. Oh, this wedding has been a fucking shit show. Anyway, I will be making this video tonight. Uh, hopefully I do not fucking die. Um, so please sit back, relax. Well, shut the fuck up and try to make this video. The groom was kind enough to give me his computer to make this video while I'm here. So, at least I'm going to make the best of it. So, sit back and enjoy one of the worst fucking maps in Black Ops 3 for setting up, uh, Zestful Machine. Alright, so like any map, we're just going to stay in this starting area for as long as we can. Uh, when you come up here, you're going to want to look for this uh, bucket. It's going to become very important for the uh, temporary power and uh, for the seed uh, system. If you want to even do that, which I don't think it's worth it, but uh, teach their own. Um, But yeah, in this guide, I'm just going to show you the basics. I'm just going to do the lengthy uh, setup for uh, power, and I'll show you the lengthy setup for pack a punch. Go ahead and buy this. And I'll open up uh, Gobblegum. I'm playing offline, so I don't have my prefer gobble gun, so I'm just gonna keep spinning it until I get uh, anywhere but here. Or no, what the hell is it? Uh, in plain sight. That's what I'm looking for. Now, the uh, spawn system in the starting area of this map is actually kind of buggy. Um, if, as long as you don't go past this tree and these rocks and go down and back into this area, where the other two windows are, and you just stay up here, the uh, zombies will only spawn in this window and this window. So keep that in mind if you want to keep it a little more uh, simple for yourself. Just always kind of check behind you. Hell, some rounds, all the zombies will just spawn in one of the windows. So don't be surprised if that happens. But yeah, we just want to stay here until we start getting overrun, or we have a sufficient amount of points. Now, I think it's important to note that uh, there are these orange kind of spores all over the map, and if you shoot them, this cloud of uh, orange dust will appear, and if you go through it, your character is going to have a coughing animation, and you're going to be unable to use your weapon, so you're going to want to avoid that at all costs. 
there is a gas mask you that uh, you could build, but uh, I'm not going to show that in this video. So. The gas mask uh, helps a little bit with that. But I don't think it's absolutely necessary to build for this map. time to exit this area I do not go this way I actually go up this way right here because I want to get started on the uh, temporary power and you'll see what I mean by that in a bit The uh, dog round on this map is uh, actually uh, spiders. They're pretty damn easy to take care of. Um, you just want to keep moving because they will shoot webs at you. But like the hellhounds, they're pretty damn easy to take care of. Just see, pretty fucking uh, simple if you ask me. We almost have enough points to where we could actually uh, get started on the uh, temporary power. I'll probably get on that by the end of this round. go ahead and uh, exit this area since we're getting overrun anyways and I got enough points so we're gonna open up those uh, vines right there uh, we're lucky this time because we actually have quick revive right here it's important to note that the uh, perks are random on this map except for jug I think I think jug is always in the same place I'm gonna go ahead and open up this gate and we're gonna go ahead and turn on the power on this section of the map now I do say temporary power because uh, the main power switch is located somewhere else and you are timed. And you have to turn on two of these locations. So once you start this process you might as well just get moving with it. I'm going to buy this rifle right here. And you're going to want to put your full bucket of water into this right here. There's only two locations for irradiated uh, water. One of which was down there. Ooh, we're getting an early Thrasher spawn. Now with the Thrashers, you're going to want to aim for the uh, glowing orange uh, pus, uh, whatever the hell it's called. Pus source. And he'll go down pretty easy if you're a good shot. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go here because we, I want to open up uh, Speed Cola. Get my free 100 points, and 
you take that and we're going to move on to the uh, next uh, temporary uh, power station. So we're going to go through this part right here and we're going to open up this big door right here. And as you can see, uh, one of the uh, transformers is online. Uh, our goal is to open up this bunker door so we can go in there and get Pack-a-Punch online and get the power on. For the uh, next location for the irradiated water, it's going to be down here. Um, there is usually a perk machine right here. It's stamina up, so I'm not even going to bother with it. Um, the water is right here. Fill your bucket up, and you're going to head up this way. Now you're going to want to go into this door right here. Want to repeat the process that you already did at the other one. Now we're going to make our way to the bunker doors. And that's where we're going to uh, turn on the uh, main power. Freaking thing's a lead laser. And we got to be quick about it because we are timed. Now when you open up this door, there should be a thrasher or two. So you want to just go ahead and start shooting. And just like that, he's down. So we could go ahead and enter. And you're going to want to make your way to uh, this room right here on the left and right there is the uh, main power switch but it's not quite ready to turn on just yet we actually have to go down into the water right here and we have to cut these webs off of this vent right here now I like to uh, grab the shotgun back here and we want to make sure that we go up from air every now and then so we don't drown and we're going to be stuck down here, locked in for uh, about a minute or so, and we're going to fight off a few zombies. And by the end of this, we should be getting... Uh, our first part for Pack-a-Punch right here. And since this is all turned on, we could go ahead and go to the uh, main power switch. And there we go. We have turned on the power. So we're going to take that piece that we got from uh, down under the water and we're going to put it on right here. There are two more pieces we need to uh, get the Pack-a-Punch down here. But uh, I'm going to focus on getting Double Tap and Juggernaut first. So, let's start building up some points. We got enough for jug, so we're going to make our way into here. Grab the jug, and we're going to head back out and try to find a double tap. I have an idea on where it is, so we're going to go ahead and head that way. I 
have a gut feeling it's uh, down over here. We're going to go up this way. And yes, there it is. But I need some uh, points to get it. And once we get points for uh, double tap and we purchase it, we're going to go ahead and start on uh, the other two pieces for pack a punch. So I gotta go find some ammo for one of these guns. I'll probably have to make my way back to the uh, first uh, temporary power station and buy ammo for my rifle. And it'll be about a round or two before we start working on the uh, other two parts for the uh, pack punch. really accurate with the uh, aiming, the thrasher shouldn't be too much of an issue. I got some in my mouth. But they can be uh, pretty startling if you run into them around the corner like I did. So probably by the end of this round, we could go ahead and get started on the uh, second piece for the uh, pack a punch machine. Where the hell are we getting all these nails anyway? Take care of this thrasher real quick. Since this is uh, pretty much over, this round we could uh, go ahead and go through here. And for the second uh, pack of punch machine part, we could either go through this door right here, or we could go forward through that door. Uh, we're going to uh, go through this door right here. 
You're going to want to go down this way. Real bad. Go down these stairs. Not stick around too long. And you're going to want to uh, open this door right here. Get my free, uh, I guess I can't get it. And for the second part, it's actually down here in the water as well. You could go through the left tunnel or the right tunnel, but it shouldn't be too far down in here, and you'll find the wheel. Now that we got that, we could go ahead and return to the pack punch machine. And we could go ahead and put it in its corresponding spot. Alright, so we got one more we could do, but I like to clear the area out first before I go in, into here, so by the end of this round we'll go in there. You always want to be very careful when you go into this bunker because of the tight corners and limited space. Looks like this round is uh, pretty much done from the looks of it. So we're going to go ahead and go down into here. So now this next part is pretty much based on luck. Um, there are these body bag things or webs or whatever. Bodies wrapped up in webs that are hanging around all over this room. And in order to find the part, you're going to want to knife them. Uh, a zombie will drop down from each one, and one of them does have the part in it, and you'll see it glowing on the ground when you uh, knife it open, and it's the correct one. But you may end up knifing every single uh, body bag in here before you get the uh, part. They're everywhere in here. Ah, there it is. Okay, that didn't take too long that time. So we're going to go ahead and go back to the uh, pack a punch area. And we're going to put this piece right here. And just like that, we opened up pack a punch. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this map. Uh, you're going to want to, of course, build up points and pack a bunch of guns. Um, my strategy from there on out is pretty much just running around, uh, training in the uh, big open areas outside. I don't like to hang out in the bunker too much, but uh, there's some shield parts and all that crap. And uh, if you want to do that, uh, you can. I don't really find all the shields to be necessary in this game. But... Uh, it will help you out. And, uh, yeah. So that's pretty much it for Zespo Noshima. We're going to do Gorokobi next. And we should be able to do Revelations. So, uh, I'll see you for the next parts. And, uh, as always, thank you for watching.